Hey there. Have you been following Tunisia's economic situation lately? I've heard there have been some significant changes. Absolutely. Tunisia's economy has been a topic of interest lately. There have been some positive developments, but also some challenges. Let's dive into the details. Great, let's start with the current state of Tunisia's economy. From what I've read, Tunisia has been experiencing some economic growth in recent years. Is that true? Yes, you're right. Tunisia has indeed seen some economic growth, but it's important to note that the country has faced various challenges too. The economy has been recovering slowly after the political and social upheaval that occurred during the Arab Spring in 2011. The government has been implementing economic reforms to stabilize the economy and attract investments. That makes sense. Political stability is crucial for economic growth. What are the main factors contributing to Tunisia's economic recovery? One of the key factors contributing to Tunisia's economic recovery is its diversified economy. Tunisia has a mix of agriculture, manufacturing, and services sectors. The agriculture sector, including olive oil production, is a significant contributor to the economy, providing employment to a large portion of the population. Manufacturing, especially textiles and clothing, also plays a vital role in Tunisia's economy. Additionally, the services sector, including tourism and information technology services, has been growing steadily. It's good to hear that Tunisia has a diverse economy. I've also heard about the importance of exports and economic development. What are the main industries and exports driving Tunisia's economy? Absolutely, exports play a crucial role in any country's economy. In Tunisia, the main industries driving exports include textiles and clothing, automotive and aerospace components, electrical goods, and machinery. The country is known for its high-quality textiles and apparel, which are major export items. Additionally, Tunisia has been focusing on developing its renewable energy sector, including exporting solar and wind energy technologies. Renewable energy is definitely the future. It's great to hear that Tunisia is investing in that sector. How about the challenges Tunisia is facing in terms of its exports and industries? Despite the positive aspects, Tunisia does face challenges in its export sector. One of the significant challenges is the global economic uncertainty, which affects demand for exports. Fluctuating international commodity prices and trade tensions also impact Tunisia's exports. Moreover, the country needs to invest more in technology and innovation to enhance the competitiveness of its industries in the global market. Additionally, improving infrastructure and addressing bureaucratic hurdles are essential to boost exports further. Those challenges are indeed significant. It seems like Tunisia needs a comprehensive strategy to overcome these hurdles. I've also heard about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on economies worldwide. How has Tunisia's economy been coping with the pandemic? The COVID-19 pandemic has posed substantial challenges to Tunisia's economy, as it is for many other countries. The country experienced disruptions in trade, tourism, and manufacturing due to lockdowns and restrictions. However, the government implemented measures to support businesses and individuals affected by the pandemic. These measures included financial aid, tax relief, and support for the health care sector. The vaccination campaign has also been crucial in controlling the spread of the virus and enabling economic activities to resume gradually. It's good to know that the government took proactive measures to support the economy during such a challenging time. I'm curious about Tunisia's tourism sector. I've heard that it's a significant contributor to the economy. How has the tourism industry been faring recently? Yes, you're absolutely right. Tunisia's tourism sector has traditionally been a vital part of its economy, contributing significantly to the country's GDP and providing employment opportunities. However, the sector faced a severe downturn due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Travel restrictions and safety concerns led to a sharp decline in international tourist arrivals. To mitigate the impact, Tunisia has been focusing on domestic tourism and has been promoting its cultural and historical attractions to local travelers. Additionally, the government has been implementing health and safety protocols to reassure international tourists. As travel restrictions are gradually lifted worldwide, Tunisia is optimistic about the gradual recovery of its tourism sector. 
It's great to hear that Tunisia is adapting and finding innovative ways to revive its tourism industry. I'm also curious about the country's investment climate. How attractive is Tunisia for foreign investors, and what sectors are they showing interest in? Tunisia has been actively working to improve its investment climate and attract foreign investors. The government has introduced reforms to simplify bureaucratic procedures and enhance transparency. The country offers various incentives to foreign investors, including tax breaks, subsidies, and access to free trade agreements. Additionally, Tunisia's strategic location as a gateway to both Europe and Africa makes it an attractive destination for investors looking to expand their businesses in the region. Foreign investors have shown interest in sectors such as renewable energy, manufacturing, technology, and tourism-related infrastructure. The government's focus on renewable energy projects, in particular, has garnered attention from international investors, given the global emphasis on sustainable development. It sounds like Tunisia is making significant efforts to create a favorable environment for foreign investment. That's essential for long-term economic growth. I'm also interested in the employment situation in Tunisia. How is the country faring in terms of job creation and unemployment rates? Employment is a crucial aspect of any country's economic development, and Tunisia has been working to address its employment challenges. The country has made progress in job creation, especially in sectors like manufacturing, services, and information technology. However, the unemployment rate, particularly among young people, remains a concern. The government has been implementing initiatives to promote entrepreneurship and skill development among the youth. Vocational training programs and support for small and medium-sized enterprises SMES, have been instrumental in creating job opportunities. Nevertheless, addressing youth unemployment requires sustained efforts, including investments in education, vocational training, and creating an environment conducive to entrepreneurship. Youth unemployment is a pressing issue not just in Tunisia but globally. It's good to hear that the government is focusing on initiatives to address this challenge. I'm curious about Tunisia's trade relationships. Are there any significant trade partners that play a vital role in the country's economy? Yes, Tunisia has several significant trade partners that play a vital role in its economy. The European Union EU, countries are among the major trading partners, with France, Italy, and Germany being key export destinations. Tunisia benefits from preferential trade agreements with the EU, which facilitate the export of goods and services. Moreover, Tunisia has been expanding its trade relationships with African countries as part of its efforts to diversify its markets. The African Continental Free Trade Area AFCFTA, agreement has opened up new opportunities for Tunisia to trade with other African nations, creating a platform for increased economic cooperation and investment in the continent. Expanding trade relationships, especially within Africa, is a smart move. It not only boosts the economy, but also fosters regional integration. I'm wondering about the future outlook for Tunisia's economy. What are the prospects, and what challenges does the country need to overcome to ensure sustainable economic growth? Looking ahead, Tunisia's economy holds promise, especially if the government continues to implement necessary reforms and investments. With a diversified economy, a focus on renewable energy, and efforts to attract foreign investment, Tunisia is well positioned for growth. The country's participation in 